Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode number 18 of season 4. So, we're going to make up for everything I said I was going to show in yesterday's video that I ended up forgetting to do. Forgot the mailbox question of the episode as well, so we'll do that today. We'll do two. Well, we normally do two, but we'll, I don't know, we'll do as many as I, I can without it being too long. But yeah, one of the things I forgot to do, guys, is actually show you guys what the um, Christmas update is really all about. And I apologise about that, guys. So, if we have a look here, we can get a couple of ideas of what we can get um, enhancement-wise. Now, the only enhancement... I'm actually blocking my face, aren't I? Um, there we go. There we go. Um, so, yeah, the only one I've gotten so far is the Uncommon Candy Cane. Literally nothing else. So, hopefully, we do get a little bit more off the board. Um, but these will obviously be the food. For the Christmas fusions, um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, these will be the packs on store where you'll be able to get some food. And here are a couple cards. So there's an ultimate Matt Hardy, pretty cool. Definitely want to get that. Uh, Ric Flair, awesome. And then there's Becky Lynch. I really want that Becky Lynch. Um, lovely card. So those are the couple cards you can see so far. Um, and that's just back to the overview. Never mind. Okay, so there we go. That's just showing you guys a little bit. Of what those, uh, yeah, what those things are. So let's log into the game. Probably should have done that before. In today's episode, you guys are going to see a platinum pack. You're going to see my elimination chamber rewards. You're going to see the preview of the road to glory. We'll go through all the cards, see if anything are pros, all that good stuff. Royal rumbles out. I won't do a game of Royal Rumble, very long, and you guys have seen it and played it in Season 3 before. But yeah, I got a couple bouts done, got a bit of a late start to it, but you get a lot of points for a, for a win, especially if it's a perfect win. This is what I'm uh, rocking with in my deck at the moment, trying to level up this Dean Ambrose. I really want to level him up to 70, because yeah, he gets beat by a couple cards that I don't... But yeah, it, although I still kind of want to stay in WrestleMania, uh, plus plus. So also, I'm not too sure, but yeah, that's what I'm going with right now. Um, so yeah, I said Platinum Pack, Rewards, Preview, and maybe some King of the Ring Rewards? Who knows, who knows? Um, I lost King of the Ring, I got into Lost in the Quarters, got two Beast cards, one for making it to Raw, one for getting eliminated. So it was pretty decent, uh, one Pro, just more Catalog, and I'm pretty sure I got a third Neville, so those were the two Beasts. The the Beast Pro, I say, well, it was a Dean Ambrose. So, let's get into the Rewards. Uh, here and then here um, There we go, there they are So I'll do the momentum one first uh, You've unlocked three momentum slots Well there we go, because that's just nothing um, I'll get rid of those as well um, Let's do our CP first Give me my 540 CP I'll take that very nicely You know, I'm almost at 1000 And you get like 8 or 9 CP um, In um in Royal Rumble, so that's, that's really decent as well. And I finished 7th in my league, if you guys didn't know that. I uh, it was just, yeah, as soon as I knew I wasn't going to make it to 5th, uh, I was kind of in that 6th spot, and I just decided not to play, because there was no way I could make it to 5th. He had, like, 3,000 points, and it was, yeah, my last day in England, so the, I, the Arsenal game, I you know, decided to have a bit of fun and not to really just grind Elimination Chamber all day. And then the day after I was travelling, so I really couldn't um, get much chamber done. So I just decided to forget it, and that's why I didn't get into Gold League. Ugh. It's a bit of a shame. Um, PvP rewards, so I, I, I can get one chance for a beast, and some chances for SummerSlam 17 cards. I can also get, literally, SummerSlam cards. WrestleMania Becky, Hardened Alexa, WrestleMania Chris Jericho. It's all food, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing amazing, obviously, in these packs. Um, even if I do get myself uh, a SummerSlam 17, which I didn't. Um, we get ourselves two Alexas, I like that. But yeah, nothing obviously good in those at all. What a shock, um, what a shock. So, um, I will bring you guys back in this episode for the preview, which will be up in three and a half hours. And I'll also bring you guys back in 4 hours and 17 minutes for my uh, Platinum Pack. I would love to get another Titan. We got a Titan from the first pack, in the uh, first back time background pack, since nothing. Um, and if I don't get a Titan, I just really, really want some females. I can afford one of these soon, but I'm probably going to save up for when they introduce time packs into it. Or maybe literally just start saving up for the new tier. Um... Because I'm already in Titan tier, so literally the only thing I need from this monster pack are females, and obviously I might not get lucky to get a female. 
Now, um, you guys can still see that on the screen I've got a picture of Undertaker. Now, I'm going to remove that because you all know that that was not my last but my last pull. My last pull was Dean Ambrose until we went ahead and got our free pull. It was Ultimate Warrior. So I'm going to go straight to adding Ultimate Warrior on there, not Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose I never actually got onto the last pull, even though I did. Obviously, he was the, the pull after Taker and before uh, Ultimate Warrior. But I did go ahead and get myself another Titan pull. Um, which is definitely not great, and you, you probably see where I'm going with this, you do, uh, Bob Backlund, and I've decided in Season 4 I'm not going to add manager pulls on my last pull, only superstars, so last in Season 3 I would put the whoever, whoever I got, but yeah, Bob Backlund is the, is the another one, which is another stat, man, it's just only one stat unfortunately, so I now cover power, speed, and Charisma, obviously, it's not worth using that one. What I do need is, I'm pretty sure, is a Paul Ellerin, which I had I had Paul Ellerins in Monster Tier. I decided to get rid of them, um, which was very silly of me. But anyway, this is what well, this is how it's looking, all my singles. Uh, the Brawn, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's, go, he's getting somewhere. I did chuck him in a little bit in Royal Rumble as well. But with Royal Rumble, it really won't take me too long to get Dean Prode. Um, hopefully get that done in the next part of this in the second part of this episode when I bring you guys back for the pack. Thank you for watching so far, guys. I'll be back in a couple. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to the episode. We have the preview for the Road to Glory. We have the Platinum Pack. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. I have seen already who is in the Road to Glory. I couldn't help myself. We start off with SummerSlam, Nia Jax, Hardened, Kevin Owens, Elite Mark Henry, Ultimate Big E, WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar, SummerSlam Tamina, that will definitely help some people out, obviously, who are just um, just on the verge to getting into the season 40s. Beast, Luke Harper, Monster, and third for me, Eric Rowan, and single, but um, I'll take it, it's just another Titan, Bray Wyatt, and then of course, we have Braun Strowman. So that is the preview, guys, not very lucky on that, no Monster Pro, no, you know, no Titan Pro, um... And it's not a great Titan at that. But it's a Titan, and I'll definitely take Titans. But it is now time, guys, for our plan and pack. Oh, come on, Arsenal. If you could score right here, I <laughs> I wouldn't be angry if I didn't get a Titan card. No, okay. I'm watching the Arsenal-West Ham game. 77 minutes into it, and it's nil, nil. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this time last year, um, I had somewhere on the screen that Arsenal had won 5-1, uh, because it was about this time last year. That was sorry, not 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 exactly the same scoreline, unfortunately. But we can still win. Let's get this. Let's get this pack, guys. Another great um, showing from the team. Fifteen thousand to zero. Not a single one of them applied one charge. I'm pretty sure they were bot. We got a time from the first pack, which was a pro Alistair Black. At the time, it was a single. Um, then I got him, and then no wait, he was my yeah no no, no it was a single when I got him from the pack. But anyway, just. Any, anything, anything, anything that's a titan, or anything that's a monster female. Oh, that's not a good one. Two beasts and a monster. Come on, monster female. Come on, monster female. It's a pro. It's a pro. It's it's it's, it's, it's not all right pro as well. Um, and a Rick Rude that I didn't have before. Okay, not great, not great at all. But pro pro Sami Zayn. You know, I, I can work with that, I suppose. He, he would make my deck. Let's go confirm the pro. There he is. Um, and, oh, I don't mean to lock, unlock him. And there we go. So, the two beast cards were actually useful. Because, as you guys know, I didn't have a Rick Rude. And that is a TJ Pro. So, an extra shot on the catalogue. Um, Dean Ambrose is, isn't done yet. Uh, he's, he's no way near done, actually. So, won't be doing that. But that is about it, guys. We're going to wrap up the episode there, I think. But before we wrap up the episode, it's time to get into that mailbox question of the episode. And it comes to you by a user with the name... Da -da 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 -da, Wildebeest asks... Hi, cool guy. Love the vids. Thank you very much, man. Um, what would be your favourite Survivor Series 5 on 5 all time? It would be like TNA boys versus WWE, uh, like so. Like here it would be: Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode, and oh, someone right now who's in WWE who was in TNA. Who I really Sting. Let's just add a let's just add Sting in there because I think that'd be awesome. Literally like main event mafia with AJ Styles. But that 
Um, and then WWE, John Cena, uh, Randy Orton, Triple H, Undertaker, maybe Rock, someone like that. That would be, that would be a great match. Thank you, Will the Beast, for your question, man. And the kid, uh, the, the the kid, the UK, I don't I'm, you know, whatever. The UK kid, I think it is, actually. My question is, what is your worst tag team champions ever? Gosh, worst tag team champions ever? I can't even remember, uh, like, a uh, really bad tag team that have been champions that I can think of recently. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank there, mate. I'm going to move on, but I'll, I'll try and think of one. Um... <laughs> It's the mailbox question of the episode, not, I don't know what CQO, but close. I I'm not even very sure what it is. Dr. Stunk, um, let's read your question. Thank you for asking one. What is your favourite event card on each season? Uh, season 1 is the first Brock Lesnar PCC. Season 2 is the uh, Ring Dom uh, Bray Wyatt I got. Season 3 would probably be the Alexa with the title image. And season, no sorry, season 3 would be the Kurt Angle one. And... The LX one, I thought Kurt Angle for a sec was season four. And I'm, for season four, I'm going to literally say Braun because there's only been two. So, yeah, thank you for your question, man. Really appreciate it. There we go. That is the episode wrapped up, guys. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you drop it a like. That'd be very much appreciated. And I will see you guys very soon for a brand new episode and for the Road to Glory live stream, guys, tomorrow morning. It's going to be a grind. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.